Today I'm going to talk about useful extensions and plugins for SketchUp. Um, extensions and plugins are little add-ons that enhance the functionality, the basic functionality of SketchUp. These aren't actually created by SketchUp, these are created by independent developers. And there are a number of plugins and extensions that I use. One of them in particular converts lines to diced lines. And you may be aware that sometimes if you have a beam, um, that is actually presented as a diced line on a floor plan. And sometimes the lines um, that indicate that a wall has been interrupted, for example, by a window, sometimes those lines might be diced as well. So first of all, the extension I'm going to talk about today is actually a diced line extension. And you go to this website, I'll uh, attach a link to the website and download uh, the files for that. You actually need to place the files in a specific location on your computer. Um, what, what you need to do is go to your computer, the C drive, then you need to go to users, click on your folder um, that you have set up for yourself, then select app data, then roaming, then SketchUp, click on the SketchUp folder that's applicable, you know, for, for whatever version you're currently using, then select SketchUp and then select plugins. And this is where you want to put all of your extensions um, when they have to be manually downloaded. So let's go into our floor plan and let's create a beam in the center of this space. So there's our midpoint. So let's just bring, let's just do a copy of that, 100 mil. And copy that 100 mil and then delete that center line. Okay, so there's our beam in the center of this room and we're gonna change those two lines to diced lines. So we're gonna select that, right click and then select replace by dotted lines and then click okay. And then we're gonna do the same to the other line. Okay, and there's our diced lines. Let's change the line that interrupts the, the wall where the windows are. So let's double click that component, click the line and you can see that it's being replicated on this component as well. Right click, replace by dotted lines and let's make those smaller. And then click OK and then click off that and you can see that now we have dashed lines there. And let's do it to the other line as well and then click off that. And that is how you very quickly replace a line with a dashed line. 